He spent the majority or pretty much all of his time in 2015 playing third base, and I expect him to come in initially as the third base for the Angels. What made him so appealing for the Angels, he's got pop. He had a really solid offensive season, and he is an immediate upgrade over what they have right now at third base. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. The Angels have reportedly acquired infielder Yunel Escobar from the Nationals for reliever Trevor Gott and minor league pitcher Michael Brady. Escobar batted 314 with 75 runs scored in 2015. Although Escobar primarily played third base for the Nationals in 2015, he's a versatile defender with experience at shortstop and second base. One of the most sought-after remaining free agents on the market, Jason Hayward, could decide shortly which team he will sign with for 2016. The teams that are reportedly finalists for the 26-year-old include the Cardinals, Cubs, Angels, and Nationals. The three-time Gold Glove winner hit 293 with 13 home runs and 60 RBIs for the Cards in 2015. Jonathan Broxton will return to St. Louis as the Cardinals sign the reliever to a two-year deal, which includes a full no-trade clause. Broxton was traded to the Redbirds by the Brewers at the 2015 trade deadline and tallied 26 strikeouts over 23 innings with the Cards. The Rockies have reportedly signed Mark Reynolds to a one-year deal. The veteran hit 13 homers for the Cardinals with 48 runs driven in last season. The Nationals have reportedly agreed to terms with reliever Sean Kelly on a three-year deal. Kelly struck out 63 batters and 51 innings of relief with the Padres in 2015. The Phillies selected outfielder Tyler Goodell of the Rays with the first pick of the Rule 5 draft, which saw 16 players chosen in the Major League phase of the draft. For a full look at the results of the Rule 5 draft, log on to MLB.com. For more on these stories and for a complete look back at the winter meetings, stay locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.